All right, so here we are back for part four of this, uh, what's turning out to be a rather mammoth uh, screencasting session for me. Um, now then, what we're going to do now is add some text uh, to our song uh, sheet here. Now, I'm going to start off um, by adding some lyrics to it. Now, Logic has a really handy little tool for this um, called the Lyric Tool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select my first um, note here and I'm just going to drag um, the lyric tool uh, icon uh, below that note. Now what this is going to do is um, it's going to link every word to a note. Now if I were to add these all individually as little text objects, um, if I added certain notes in, um, you know, all the spacing would change and I'd have to move everything about. Um, so what the Lyric tool does um, is actually aligns the words up um, to the notes. So if the spacing changes, um, it will be reflected in the lyrics. So I'm going to add a word in here. I've got my little uh, text icon flashing there and I'm just going to type in we because that's the first word. Now to t um, link the next word to the next note, uh, you just hit tab and as you can see the cursor uh, now moves to the next note so the next word is all and I hit tab again uh, and then love tab tuts tab plus and put a little uh, period in there and as you can see uh, these words are all lining up nicely um, so that's the basic gist of the lyric tool, uh, very 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 handy uh, for adding lyrics to your melodies. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this off um, so you don't have to watch me uh, type, as my typing is actually rubbish. Um, so I'll just go ahead and finish that and uh, see you back here in a minute. Okay so you can see I've uh, finished typing out these uh, words and they're all lining up pretty well with our melody. So. Uh, the next thing to do is um, add some information into our header and then we'll pretty much be done. Okay, so I'm going to come into our, our melody part as I kind of want all of this stuff to be kept um, within this part. Just so I said, you know, that I've got this option of printing out a simple version, you know, and um, a more complete version. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add... Uh, my song title. Now I'm going to grab the song object here and just drag it into my header. Okay. Now basically what that's done is it's pulled the name of our um, uh, song and created uh, a text object uh, with our name in it. And these kind of text objects they're called automatic text objects. Uh, the date is similar to that. Uh, if you drag the date object in it will give you the you know, today's date, Sunday the 25th of October. Um, whereas the text object here is just, you know, static text that you have to input yourself. Okay. Now then, um, I'm also going to add uh, uh, some writer information. Um, let's say music uh, by, let's say, traditional there click off that. Now you can see that this is aligned to my margin here because I've got it aligned to um, margin. Okay. Uh, and I could add a lyric, you know, uh, you know, lyrics by Toby, but I think, you know, I kind of want to forget it really. <laughs> so do I really want anybody knowing I wrote that? Um, so next up, what I'm going to do um, is add one more object, which is this uh, tempo indicator. I'm just going to drag this tempo symbol in. And again, this is automatic as well, and it's going to pull in um, the tempo uh, from the transport bar. Um, if I just open the transport, here you can see my tempo is 120, um, and it's automatically given that to me there. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting on this text. Um, now, to format text, um, we go to text, text styles, 
uh, open this up and you can see all of Logic's default um, text here or text styles uh, and I'm just going to create a new one because there's nothing here that I actually want to use so I'm going to go new text style double click on it rename this title hit return hit this right column here and here you can see I've got a font picker here and I can change uh, my font uh, size I could have it bold um, but that's fine for me now and then to assign that textile to this um, I just highlight the uh, object um, select style and choose title and there you have it nice and easy okay so not looking bad not looking bad uh, let's have a look at the whole thing and let's um, hide our margins uh, to tidy it up a little bit yeah all looking good now the last thing I need to do is add some chords to this uh, my chord markings um, and to do this I'm going to go back into my arrange page uh, let's just have a look at this now then um, to get your chords in I'm going to use the chord global track um, and seeing as I have this basic piano part here that is basically spelling out uh, all of my chords in a very nice basic way, these are all basic triads here um, I'm going to analyse this MIDI part um, and turn it into a chord track so if I just um, get my global tracks down there, in fact I'm going to go chord, uh, control click on global tracks here say chord and you can see here I've got this button that says analyze okay now then what I have to do is choose the part I want to analyze which is my piano part hit analyze and here you can see it's actually worked out what those chords are um, and given them to me in the global chord track now then it's very important when you uh, analyze parts you know, if you want to do this, I would suggest you do like a pass of really simple chords, that are the most basic voicings, um, you know, of the chords of your songs before you analyse it. Make sure all the root notes, um, you know, are right. Um, uh, just make sure it's a nice, simple, you know, you can get some really, ex you know, complicated chords out of this, and Logic does a pretty good job of working them out. Um, but for this, I just want some really simple block chords, so... Uh, that's what I've done here. Now then, I'm going to go back in to uh, my score. Uh, let's just explode these, come into here. And I'm going to select uh, the melody part again because I want to embed these chords into this part. And to get the chords in, you just go to Functions, Insert Chords from Global Track. And when I do this, voila! Uh, here are the chords of my song. Now then I can just uh, move these down maybe. And i tell you what I could do. I could go into textiles. I think they're a bit chunky. Um, I'm going to cho choose chord root. Uh, hit the right hand column there. Uh, and just change these down to 10. Uh, so 10 point there. Um, and again just grab them. Just maybe align these up a little better. Um, and there you have it really, you know, if you feel that you want to move some of them about, uh, go for it. So, um, let's leave folders, and now we've got something that's looking pretty good. Uh, almost there, there's only one thing missing, and that is our chord boxes. Um, so what I'm going to do, come to the part box here, uh, grab my chord box uh, from here, and let's... Uh, Let's take this middle one. I think that should be uh, just about right. Now I'm going to plonk this in. Um, I'm going to make sure it kind of goes into here, roughly where I want it. Um, the first chord I'm going to put in is C. And I'm just going to. This is the chord grid library, by the way. Uh, new and updated in uh, Logic 9. Uh, I'm going to choose C there and say OK. Now then, I think that is right let me just double click on here yep this has been embedded into this uh, melody part 
which is exactly what I wanted. Um, now then, these are usually put onto a song sheet to give the guitarist a reference of the voicing, you know. Um, they're usually pretty simple. Um, so now I have two other chords in my song. I have a G and an F, so I'm going to want to input those as well. Uh, let me just grab another chord box. Now then, instead of scrolling all the way through all this lot, uh, I'm going to use the filter here and I'm going to say root note G chord type major and here I got a nice open G chord hit OK and that's come in quite nicely there okay uh, and I'll do the same uh, for F so just drag one in uh, choose F as my root note chord type major choose this bar chord here drag these in I reckon that looks pretty good um, that is about it. Now let's have a look at our full um, sheet here. Let's just shrink it up a little bit. And you can see we have a very presentable um, song sheet. Now all I've got to do now is print it out. Um, so to print, uh, I can literally just go to File, Print, OK. I can preview it as a PDF. Very nice you know and just say print uh, to disk um, or I can save this PDF you know save as uh, save it to your desktop or whatever and there you go you're ready to print it out um, ready to get around the campfire start handing them out um, you know and just waiting for those deals to roll in I guess um, so that is basically it um, We've learnt how to uh, format uh, some text, add some chord boxes, um, put in some you know chord symbols, um, and just basic page formatting. We learned a bit about clefs and time signatures, and our part box over here. Um, so what I recommend you do, like take a song uh, that you've written or something like that, and try and score it out. Um, it's a good exercise. Um, you know, and as a test, give it to um, you know a musician that you know, uh, and see if they can work it out um, from the paper. Okay, well this has been uh, Toby Pittman uh, for Audio Touch Plus with a bit of a monster marathon session there, uh, but hopefully you've learned something, and I'll see you back here soon. Okay, bye.